Good afternoon and how are you? This is Joyce Solomon Jackson coming to you on this lovely, thankful Tuesday afternoon just to talk briefly about our dreams and how we are not to let our dreams die. Remember the story of Joseph, how his brothers, they hated on him because he found favor in his father's sight and because he had a beautiful coat of many colors. Not just that, Joseph had a gift. He was a dreamer and a dream interpreter. And I stopped by this afternoon just to let you know, you are not to let your dreams die. Even in the midst of the battle, in the midst of your haters, when you're sold off into slavery and thrown into the pit or into the prison. And what do I mean by that? When your friends and your family turn their back on you and betray you and sell you out. You know, we all know some sellouts, right? Even if they sell you out, even if they hate on you, even if they don't believe in you and if they don't see the gift that is on the inside of you, don't you let your dreams die. Remember Joseph, even in the prison, his dream, which was his gift, made room for him. Even in the prison, his gift still was operating and he was still dreaming dreams. Even in Potiphar's house, the gift and the favor of God that was on his life was recognized and the dream made room for him. So even in the midst of your adversaries and when it looks like you're losing, I stop by to let you know there is hope for the underdog and don't you let your dreams die. In due season, if you faint not, you will reap. And remember, there is rest for the weary. And those who are weary, if you trust in the Lord and you look to the Lord, in your due season, you will mount up with wings as an eagle and you will receive strength. So don't you let your dreams die, honey child. Believe in the word of the Lord. And remember, your gift, it will make room for you. Have a superb day.